Hi, my name's Candice and today we're going to do a short yoga flow to help stretch out the hamstrings and the legs, especially if you've got leg day doms. Join me on the mat. So we're going to start in a seated position. We're just going to take three centering breaths. So we're going to inhale for three. Exhale for three. Inhale and exhale. Last time, inhale and exhale. And our next breath in, we're going to open the eyes, lift the hands up to the ceiling, and then we're just going to lean forward for a stretch. Walk yourself back up and we're going to lift the right arm up to the ceiling, take the left arm out to the side, drop down on the elbow and just reach over for a nice side body stretch. Come back up, lift the left arm up to the ceiling, right arm out wide, come down onto the elbow and reach over the top to stretch out the other side. Come back up to centre and we're going to move to all fours for three cat cows. As you breathe in, go look up to the ceiling, drop the stomach to the mat, breathe out. Round the back, tuck the chin into the chest. Breathe in, look up. Breathe out, look down. Breathe in, look up. Breathe out, look down. Come back to a nice neutral flat back. Tuck the toes underneath. Push the bottom up and back for down dog. And we're just going to pedal the legs gently here just to stretch the back of the legs. Take a nice deep breath. And we're going to walk feet to the hands. Big breath in. Now as we breathe out, we're going to press the air away and Dive back down to the feet. Breathe in for half lift, flat back. Breathe out, hands to the floor. Step that right foot back. In a lizard lunge, take the right hand wide and twist to lift the left hand to the ceiling, looking up at the left hand at the same time for a nice deep breath. Bring that left hand back to the floor, right hand in, step back for plank, drop the knees, tuck in the chin, chin, chest, and up for cobra. Release down, tuck the toes back under, push up and back to down dog. We'll just take a nice deep breath here. We're then going to step that right foot forwards for a li li lizard lunge, left hand wide and right hand to the ceiling looking up at your thumb. We'll take a deep breath here. Bring that hand back down, step the left foot forwards, big breath in and up, big stretch. As you breathe out, come down, take the hands straight to the floor, step back, take the knees wide. We're just going to drop into a child's pose for three breaths. Again, remembering that three count inhale, three count outhale. No 
I'm just gonna raise yourself up slightly and bring the knees in together and take the hold of the heels of the feet and drop back down into a narrow turn pose. And then on your next in breath, we're going to bring the arms up over the top and wide. Breath stretch and then come back down into child's pose. And we're just going to come back up and this time we're going to take the right leg forwards. Keeping the knee underneath the hip and keeping the foot in line with the hip that's out. If you need to, at this point, you can use two blocks. So you would place them either side, depending on whereabouts you need them. And you just keep that leg nice and straight. Flex the foot to the ceiling and keeping your back nice and flat, you're just dropping down towards that right leg. And take three long deep breaths here. push yourself back up we're just going to bring that foot in slightly move the blocks out the way for now and we're going to tuck the toes under on the left foot we're going to come back up to that lizard lunge but we're going to take the right foot wide on the mat again if you need to block you can bring that in if not just take the left hand to the opposite side of the mat and we're going to stretch back up for another twisted lunge. We're going to take three deep breaths here. Bring that hand back down, drop the knee back down and just pushing back, bringing the right leg back, we'll just drop back into that child pose. Take a couple of breaths here, just to recenter yourself. As we come back up, feel how the right side will feel more stretched. So now we're going to do the same on the left. So we're going to take this left foot out, again, bring back your blocks if you need them. Keeping the right knee this time under the hip and the left foot in line with your hips. And we're just going to straighten that left leg, flatten the back, flex the foot and drop down towards that knee. Again, take three long deep breaths here. Seeing if each time you breathe in, you can relax a little bit and then on the out breath, just drop a little bit deeper into the pose. When you're ready, again move the blocks back out of the way. Placing the foot back on the floor, knee over um, ankle, tuck the toes under at the back, straighten that right leg, move the left foot over to the edge of the mat, right hand to the opposite side, and then we're just going to twist and take the left hand to the ceiling, looking up at your thumb for a lizard twist. Take 
take three deep breaths here. And then come back down. Dropping that knee back down. We're going to come back onto our knees, sitting back onto our feet. And we're going to lean back very slightly, bring the hands up to the ceiling. Take the right hand on the left wrist and just gently lean over to the side for a side stretch. You can add a bit of a quad stretch here if you've got tight quads, you just lean backwards a little bit more into the stretch. And then relax, hands down. Breath in, and we'll do it on the other side. Left hand taking the right wrist. Just leaning over to that side again. And we'll stretch out those quads. Just lean back slightly onto the feet. And release. And then we're just going to come back to seated. But this time we're going to bring the feet into the butterfly position. So we want the feet together, knees wide, and you can stretch here however is best for you. You can hold on to the feet and pull yourself down. You can hold on, um, uh, push your arms onto your knees and push them slightly down, whatever suits you best. Or well, if you're very flexible in the hips, you might even find that you can do a full forward fold here and come right down. But again, we'll take a deep breath. And then whatever way you decide to stretch, you're going to drop into that stretch. <coughs> and we're just going to stay here for three breaths. like me you're just leaning forward if you've got any sort of pain in the, the back or anything like that you can place a block on the feet and then just place the head onto the block just for a bit of extra support if you need it when you're ready sit back up take yourself back to um, Easy cross leg, bring your hands to prayer at heart centre, close your eyes and take three long deep centering breaths. Today, so I'm not going to take you through a savasana. Feel free to take yourself some time for meditation or savasana straight after this or take it later. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.